I feel tiring after today. It's uh, it was a beautiful day. There's no rain. Nice. The golf course is always amazing conditions. They did a little something over the past few weeks to have the greens very lush. They're not as quick as they usually are, but that's fine. But it, you, it was a lot of attackable holes. To finish with a 71 and uh, three putt the last hole, and my friend coming in with 71 going uh, playoff, just going back and back and back. I was telling him when we got up to the sixth playoff tee, I said, this reminds us when we were six, uh, teenagers, 14, 15, 16, playing till it gets dark. And when we're, he's in his 40s, I'll be pushing 40 now, and it's, it's just amazing. It, this golf course is the perfect, perfect setup for this kind of indigenous tournament in Ganawage because it's so inviting. The, the members here are so gracious. The, the president, everybody here does great job in welcoming us. When you get to play a tournament like this and to win the inaugural one, it, 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 I broke down in tears. It, it's amazing. It's very, very beautiful. I'm, it's, it's, there's no words. It's just, I'm grateful. Grateful to be here today and grateful that it turned out the way it did. I feel great. <laughs> First one and uh, at a nice, beautiful course. And I just wish there would have been more participants. Since it's the first one, we didn't have a full field, but maybe next year we'll be uh, getting more good because I grew up on this course. I used to caddy here. Uh, maybe when I was eight or nine, I started. This is where I learned how to play at this course. I'm not a member here, but this is where I learned the game. And it's awesome. I played the Canadian seniors here in 2017. I made the cut. And it's, it's super. <laughs> well, to be honest, it was uh, a challenge today uh, playing the course. I found the greens uh, exceptionally slow for Kanawaki. Uh, the woman that I played with, uh, France, her and I went back and forth today. I was actually wondering how the other women were faring uh, in the tournament overall, but obviously very honored and proud uh, to be the first one uh, to hold this trophy here in my home community, Ganawage. Yeah, what a great experience. Uh, hats off to Golf Quebec for organizing this and allowing, you know, uh, First Nations people to have a tournament of our own uh, to go province by province. I was actually really jealous to find out the one that was started in Ontario last year at Mont Hill Golf Course uh, and I wanted to play and the chief said, well, yeah, you have to be in Gulf, Ontario. And I was like, well, hopefully it's going to come to Ganawage. And here it is, nine months later, hats off to Club 24. Well, you know, I don't know if many people know that I am the Grand Chief of uh, Ganawage. So, you know, being here, showing support, uh, I'm all obviously very passionate about the sport of golf, always encouraging women, always encouraging youth and people to get involved in the sport. So I felt it was very important to be here for the inaugural one. I was uh, overwhelmed. I hadn't expected uh, that result and so I'm very happy obviously that I came out to participate and that it went well enough to you know win um, that recognition as part of the senior women indigenous women and I I just feel like um, very grateful for the opportunity to be able to play here uh, in our home community at Kanawaki Golf Course and as well to encourage and support other Indigenous women to come out and play today and I thoroughly enjoyed myself today and I, I think that's what it's about. It's about going out and enjoying the sport and encouraging others to come out and play. Golf Québec est vraiment fier de tenir cette première édition du championnat des Premières Nations au Club de Golf Kanawaki. En fait, c'est pour nous une super belle première édition ici. On est très contents. Euh, en fait, le but de cet événement-là était un peu dans le but de répondre au mandat de la diversité, l'inclusion et l'équité, euh, mais aussi peut-être euh, d'en faire une compétition à l'international, pourquoi pas, mais plutôt au Canada. Donc, de faire que chaque province organise une compétition et que les meilleurs, de ch les champions, dans le fond, de chacune de ces compétitions-là se rassemblent une fois par année pour le championnat canadien des Premières Nations. Euh, ce serait vraiment une super, belle, euh, une super belle compétition. Présentement, on a l'Ontario et la Colombie-Britannique qui qui fait la, la compétition. Donc, le Québec est très, très fier de se joindre à ces deux provinces et on souhaite vraiment que peut-être l'année prochaine, d'autres fassent le même, le même projet pour en faire cette compétition qu'on vous dit euh, canadienne. Donc, c'est vraiment une belle fierté 
Oui, Club 24 nous ont beaucoup aidés dans l'organisation de la journée, en fait. Euh, C'est euh, un super bel organisme qui travaille vraiment pour promouvoir euh, euh, les jeunes issus des Premières Nations, également les gens issus des Premières Nations et des investir dans le sport. Et euh, de notre côté, ils ont fait beaucoup de recrutement auprès de la clientèle. Euh, nous, on a un peu plus de misère à rejoindre euh, euh, toute la clientèle. Notre souhait, ce serait que l'année prochaine, on en ait encore plus. Euh, donc, euh, ils nous ont beaucoup, beaucoup aidés dans le recrutement. Au niveau des bénévoles, en fait, c'était toute leur équipe qui était ici sur place pour nous aider. Euh, ils ont fait un très bon travail. Puis je pense que les gens étaient bien contents là, euh, de l'implication. Nous, on était bien contents de l'implication de Club 24 avec euh, la fédération. Là.